What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Jason Voorhees in Multiverses. Giving you some tips and tricks on how to play Jason, some best strategies you need to keep in mind, recommendations on perks, fun starting combos, and more. Without further ado, let's get into it. Subscribe here for more Multiverses and fighting game content and let's talk about Jason. Jason is a tank and he sure as hell plays like one. He is a pretty straightforward character, not a ton going on for him. So here are my tips regarding his moveset. First, I think a lot of people are underutilizing the neutral special where he powers himself up and becomes enraged. When he is fully enraged like this, he gets gray health, becomes faster, does more damage, and knockback. You need to always have this during the match as much as possible, as often as possible. It does go away if you don't use it, and what I mean by use it is while you're in this, this gray health, this extra damage or whatever, this goes away whenever your gray health is gone, or you do a hit. So if I go up and do a down attack, that's gonna go away now. But whenever you get your opponent away from you like this, and they're far away, you should just be throwing this out there. It's more health, more damage, more knockback, and he's faster. It's just a really good way to enhance Jason's gameplay. And not a lot of people are actually using it. Not only are we faster and stronger and do more knockback and have more health, but during this rage, Jason does not take knockback. So we're going to get fully raged up and you can see Shaggy hit us and we're just going to tank right through it. So if you're fully raged like that and you just tank through a hit, boom, free combo for you. Don't forget you can charge his up attacks so that if you plan it right, your opponents will actually fall into this. And it's a pretty good kill move too. Another move I see people forgetting a lot is his up special on the ground. That axe will catch airborne opponents. That's not just for ground opponents. So if your opponent is jumping or they're in the air a lot, just throw that out there, it'll catch them. You can dash cancel after that to get more combos. It's just something that I see and not a lot of people actually utilize. And I think it's a great move. Another move that I think is great when used correctly is a sleeping bag grab move. Now, while they're in that bag, you can hit attack and slam them down over and over again, do more damage. Doesn't last forever. But while they're in it, press special and swing around and throw them away. Now you might be thinking, yeah, that's great, but what else? The big note about that move, it's got really long recovery. So if you miss, you can't move or attack for quite some time. You're gonna get punished super hard. So you don't wanna just be throwing that move out there. I'd recommend using it in a combo, like side attack, side attack and then down special like this it's not a guarantee hit no but you're a lot more likely to hit that especially if you delay it just a second your opponent might just dodge into it so you can either finish the three hit combo or side attack side attack down special then throw them then combo up or side attack side attack side special because that teleport does count as a hit yes you can hit, hit, side, special, teleport, and then just continue the combo like that. Don't forget the teleport can be used for recovery as well if you need it. But besides that, Jason is a pretty straightforward kind of tanky character. Hard hitting, decent combos, and just an overall big tough dude that can just literally tank a ton of hits. Now let's go ahead and talk about Jason's best kill options when it comes to his move. His charge attack is really good. If you're in the air, up special and up attack are both phenomenal. You can get him in the air and then just up special. Almost a guaranteed kill from basically anywhere. It's crazy. Same with up attack in the air, of course. And believe it or not, his teleport when hit is actually really good on knockback. You're doing a combo like this at like 100%. They're almost dead on smaller maps. That's that's game. Even at 130%, I would not consider his down special, the sleeping bag grab, as a good kill move. Like, look at this. They're just, even at 130, they're just not gonna die. So that's not a good option. His down air is really good. So is his side air. Jason's just got some really strong normal. Side air, up air, down air, up special in the air. And another one that people overlook a lot is actually his air down special. You have to be really close to the ground. If you just do it normally high, you're gonna miss. But if you do hit it, that's a really good move. Pretty damn good knockback too. You actually hit that second hit if you miss the first one, if you do it close to the ground like this. Those are my favorite kill moves when it comes to Jason. Overall, he's just got some great normals, especially in the air, it feels like. Now let's talk about Jason's neutral game. What do you want to do? What do you want to do here? You're trying to guess where do I go? What do I do with my opponent? How do you handle that situation? He is a tank, but again, a lot of people forget about his rage move here. And I think that needs to be utilized a ton more in his game plan. I recommend getting your opponent basically just away from you as far as possible, then go for a rage. You want to be faster. You want to be stronger. And then that way you can just have a really good kill option. Remember, his up special does catch airborne opponents when you're in neutral like that trying to guess where's my opponent gonna go don't forget you have that move but overall i love micro jumping like this and doing an attack because he just feels stronger in the air so i'll like jump a little bit then just hit him and if i can just keep him in the air for as long as possible do my up special and that's game rather than chase your opponent when you get him far away from you again i recommend going into rage mode it's just a really good game plan overall also a quick tip regarding his neutral attack on the ground you hold that you can't control whether he walks or not he's gonna walk forward regardless a lot of carry 
characters, they can walk while charging a move. Jason does walk, but you can't like control it or not. Also another tip, his three hit combo, the slash slash grab. You can control whether you throw your opponent forward or even behind you. When the grab connects, if you wanna throw him behind you, just hold back like this. Now let's talk about some fun starting combos you can do when learning how to play Jason. The two side hits is just a great starter. That two hit combo can go into any special. So again, you can just side attack twice and down special. Grab him and then throw him to continue the air combo. You can side attack teleport and then continue the combo in the air from there. You can just side attack and then hold your up attack so that way they dodge into it possibly. Sometimes I like to let go after my two hits and then just do neutral attack. So again, they kind of like run into my downwards axe like this. The cool part about that is if you see your opponent dodge after your two hits, you just hold that axe until you see them out of dodge and then boom, hit. Now let's go ahead and talk about my favorite perks for Jason. Jason has two signature perks, Resurrectionist and Monstrous Sidestep. What Resurrectionist does is actually the first time you or an ally will get rung out, they will instead get pulled back towards the center of the map. They will have a brief window to keep fighting, but will eventually ring out automatically. So it's a good way for comebacks kind of. And the Monstrous Sidestep, Jason will move behind the nearest enemy in front of him when performing his side special which is the teleport personally i'm a bigger fan of monstrous sidestep i like to have that surprise on my opponent when i'm teleporting i use teleporting a lot more in my gameplay with jason than others maybe resurrectionist is good maybe better perk for like duos you have more comeback options and it's a ton of fun yes i see them both pretty equally i just use the sidestep one a lot more but i think they're both great now for his side perks i mostly use protective momentum and the reason why is jason's a pretty tanky character he's pretty heavy so he's on the ground a lot you're dashing you're doing your side attacks you're doing your down attacks your neutral attack moves you forward as well so this perk gives you projectile shield after running on the ground in the same direction for at least 0.5 seconds which is like no time at all having that projectile shield while moving i think is great i've had this save me more times than not he is a tanky character he's doing really good damage so i like to use last stand the most because jason's already hard to kill being a tank so while you're over 100 damage which you can be for quite some time knocking back an enemy applies weaken which makes them take more damage and more knockback anyways so i think this one's great jason does great damage he's already a tank so i will always take more melee damage if possible he's doing a lot of stabs doing a lot of hits this is a great perk although sometimes i will try and use armor killer where if you're hitting an armored enemy again with your three hit combo this stops him from using that armor it's good i use it here and there i switch between this one and the more damage of course it's kind of just like if my opponent's using more armor than my other opponents maybe i'll switch to this one but more often than not i'm using just more damage let me know your favorite perks for jason down below jason is a ton of fun to play multiverse is honestly probably one of my favorite tank characters he just got a lot of fun stuff to use let me know down below what are your thoughts on jason in multiverses do you like him do you hate him do you main jason subscribe here for more multiverses and other fighting game content we have new videos twice a week and we stream twice a week take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more multiverses guides news tutorials and more